Sad news, folks. The FBI is raiding animal sanctuaries across the country, searching for piglets we rescued from Circle 4 Farms. So many of you know in July, we released an investigation to the New York Times where we found poor piglets literally drinking their mother's blood with infected wounds on their feet so big that they can't even walk. And we took two of these piglets who were dying, who had no economic value out, and took them to the vet. And the FBI now wants to charge us with terrorism. And they're going all over the country trying to track these piglets down, seize them, and possibly return them to the farm. So the most ridiculous thing about this is if they want to charge us with a violation of the ATA or burglary, they don't have to harass these grandmothers, these families, volunteers at animal sanctuaries and animal shelters. They can go to a website called YouTube. They're doing this not because they need to accumulate evidence against us, but because they want to harass, intimidate, and scare animal rights activists across the country. And we cannot allow that to happen. We're at a point in this country where There's we're being threatened with nuclear war, where people are drowning to death because of Hurricane Harvey. And President Trump and his Department of Justice are wasting resources, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars, chasing down piglets we rescued. We can't allow them to kill these poor baby piglets, and there's something we can do about it, and that is to speak out and stand up for the rights, even in the face of oppression. So this weekend, I'm going right back to Salt Lake City, and if they're willing to harass a grandmother, a middle-class family, imagine what they're gonna do to me. We're gonna go back to Circle Four Farms, where we perform this rescue and investigation with a huge crowd of people and have a 24-hour vigil there and say to Smithfield, we are not afraid of you. We, as animal rights activists across the country and across the world, will stand for the animals and fight for their right to live. And we want you there with us. If you can't get there in person, please watch and share a live stream because the lives of Lily and Lizzie are literally hanging in the balance. It's gonna be an amazing weekend. It's gonna be amazing activism. We're gonna fight for the animals and we're gonna win.